So in 2009, ARCA attempted to launch the Helen rocket from the Black Sea. The Helen rocket transported the European Lunar Lander, or ELL, avionics as a payload. Because of balloon inflation problems, the flight was cancelled for 2010, and uh, this was the world's largest solar balloon, and uh, it was the, for the first time when someone attempted to inflate a balloon on the sea surface. At the beginning of uh, 2010, ARCA launched Mission 5, and uh, down there in the right corner you can see the ELL uh, capsule. Uh, the ELL avionics was transported at 5,000 meters altitude with a hot air balloon and the main purpose of the flight was to test the avionics at high altitude and the new flight command and control center. <coughs> Mission 4 launch attempt of the Helen 2 rocket took place in August 2010. Again, problems with the carrier balloon. This time was a helium balloon. The flight was rescheduled for uh, Mission 4B. And Mission 4B took place on October 1st and uh, this time was successful. Probably can also see the yellow capsule here more. Uh, Helen 2 rocket uh, carried the yellow avionics payload at 40 kilometers in altitude. After Spaceship 1, uh, this was, uh, is for Peter. After Spaceship 1, Arcas Helen rocket carried the x prize log at higher uh, altitude up to date. Mm -hmm. uh, due to balloon problems, the team decided to replace the carrier balloon with an um, with a IAR uh, 111 airplane. It's a strange name, but it's a brand in aviation. It's um, uh, this uh, name. Um, it's from 1925, and um, okay, I will. Uh, this okay. I will skip this. The construction of the airplane is underway, and the airframe will be completed until the end of 2011. Um, this will transport the rocket at uh, 16 kilometers altitude at supersonic speed. The first flight of the airplane is scheduled for the autumn of 2012. Um, the first flight of the, uh, for the GLXP rocket is scheduled for the end of 2013. We'll try a direct flight attempt, not to, uh, we, we want to put um, a small payload on the moon surface and to send uh, images. And uh, in 2014, we'll, uh, make the final, we'll uh, attempt to make the final uh, flight. And the airplane will be also used as a platform for development of space suits. And that's it. Is it piloted or is it remote controlled? It's piloted, it has uh, two persons on board, the pilot and a navigator. And uh, after this test uh, flight uh, stage, we'll uh, add another uh, transport capabilities for the people. And just a follow-up, is that using just conventional jet engines to...? No, it's a rocket engine, rocket-powered engine. Oh, okay. How much mass can you take to the moon? For the first flight, I said uh, uh, something about uh, a direct flight. It's about uh, uh, 50 kilograms. For the final, for the final uh, uh, Google Mars Express flight, it would be uh, tens of kilograms. Other questions? I saw the video of the launch. See how smooth the seas have to be to launch a supersonic jet with hydrofoils like that? Um, I think the waves must not be higher than uh, one feet tall, about uh, 30 centimeters. So uh, this is our initial estimation, but we'll have to run uh, another uh, simulation. So the, the seas are uh, have lots of pros and cons. Um, what was your trade-off for not taking a, a land launch? Is it regulatory? What are your What are you thinking? Uh, many times I'm thinking why I'm not American or Russian <laughs> <laughs> because I want a bigger country. But unfortunately, I don't have a bigger country. So this is the situation everywhere in Europe. Uh, in fact, Romania is a medium-sized to a big country for uh, for a European country, but we don't have. Um, many unhabitated area, like in the US where you have deserts. So uh, you will have to manage with what we have. So the only area that can be um, 
secured for the for the people is the sea. So that's why we, we choose the sea. It's not simple. It's more difficult than from the land, but this is the only option for us. So we we'll have to manage with what we have. And let me just say congratulations and thank you for getting the logo as high as we did. Maybe we'll hope to go higher. <laughs>